Yeah, uh... I'm hungry for greatness. I want to be great. I want to be an icon. I want, when I die, I want people to cry and fucking make posters and the fucking nation is like, what the fuck? We just lost a hero. That's what I'm hungry for. I'm hungry for VMAs and Grammys. That's my main goal, you know? Fuck this underground bullshit. I'm a fucking walking paradox. No, I'm not. Threesomes with a fucking triceratops. Reptar, rapping as I'm mocking deaf rock stars. Wearing synthetic wigs made of anwars. Dreadlocks, bedrock. Harder than a motherfucking Flintstone. Making crack rocks out of pussy nigga fish bones. <laughs> This nigga Jasper trying to get grown About five, seven of these bitches in my bedroom hey. Swallow the cinnamon, I'ma scribble this shit and shit While Sid is telling me that she's been getting intimate with men Sid, shut the fuck up Here's the number to my therapist You tell shit. him all your problems, he's fucking awesome with listening oh. Oof. It's like a movie. Do you watch movies? You see the shit that they do in movies? I just don't get why when it's in a song, why do people make such a big deal? When I make a song, it's just like a fucking movie to me. I want to go into detail. You know, I'm, every song is a story to me. You know, that's the shit, that's the shit I think about. You know, everybody thinks about dark shit. Why when somebody finally fucking says it, it's such a big deal, you know? Everybody goes home and it's some shit that eats them up inside that they don't really tell people, but they're just afraid to say this shit. Like, just why, why, when, I, why when somebody finally says shit that someone's thinking it's such a big deal? People are, all he talks about is rape. Have you seen Quentin Tarantino's fucking movie? Why does everyone fucking get their dick cut off or some shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why nobody say nothing about that? It's fucking art. Why when a fucking black kid says that it's such a big fucking deal? Like, really? It's fucking art. Listen to the fucking story. I'm not just talking about raping a bitch, it's a storyline. I'm writing this song from the mind of some fucking serial killer from 30 years ago who was a white male. Like, really? If they sit back and listen to the fucking coolness and genius of it, like, that shit, that's what irks me. When people make such a big deal over shit like that, when it's fucking, when it's fucking war going on and fucking across the country that they don't want to say shit about, but when I make a silly ass fucking song about socking some girl in her uterus, it's such a big fucking deal. Like, are you seriously gonna sit here and fucking, like, criticize me for doing some shit like this? Like, really? But yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck invited Mr. Serato? Who cries about his daddy in the blog because his music sucks? When you fucking up and truthfully, I had enough and fuck roll the paper. Full of shit, like I ain't that drunk. Come on, kid, fuck that flash man. That's why I got to kill those kids. When I saw them for one day, then those little bucks gotta learn that we ain't taking no shit. I am a degenerate thing. You play with me, I'm jealous of shit. Cause I ain't got no hunger to come to. Fuck you, you are wrong, bring it out. I got ten of these, ten of these. God damn, but if I wasn't. Greatness is a different definition of different people. Greatness to me is fucking when I land that fucking fakey half cap hill on my skateboard or some shit. Greatness is the fucking song I recorded last week. Somebody might not find that great, but it's great to me. And that's all that matters. What the fuck I think in my head. As long as I like it, that's all that matters. Greatness to me is finally getting my video on MTV. It's on there now and I'm fucking, I'm happy. I finally got my shit on fucking MTV. Some people might think that's selling out or whatever, but I don't really give a fuck. That's fucking great to me. I'm proud of myself. I've been wanting that since I was seven years old, and I finally got that shit. And hard work pays the fuck off. I don't have parents. I had a mom. She worked hard enough. I grew up at the Dirty Escape Park, always doing little mischievous shit that any other kid would do. I didn't play sports. I hated it. 
Nothing too crazy. I liked music. I liked drawing. I was very defiant. Someone tell me to sit down, I wouldn't sit down because it was just the defiancy in me to say, no, I sit down in three seconds because I don't want you to be the boss of me. It's, it's, it was bad. I don't know why. I just like being a rebel and just doing shit that people didn't want me to do. Just to piss them off and fuck with them. That shit got me off. Seventh grade, they used to fuck with me because I was in a, I, I wore uh, I black trucker hats and fucking the shiny fucking little accessories, like all black. Black fucking Slipknot and good Charlotte tees and shit. Just, they used to call me white boy and shit. And I hated that shit. Like, why can't I just be a fucking human? Like, really? That shit irks me when people bring race and a dumb shit. Like, why can't I just be a fan of the music, you know? Like, it's fucked up for the black community. The black community's already fucked up. Don't give me no shit like that. I hate jerkers, but I kind of feel for them right now for that shit. I still hate that shit though, but I don't like shit like that. Black community, what the fuck? This ain't a Tyler Perry movie, nigga. Fuck that shit. I don't want to sound too full of myself, but I'm the hottest nigga right now. Like, I have niggas on my dick. I have the coolest video out right now. Like, at the moment, I'm that nigga, but I don't let it go to my head. Like, when I go back home, I'm gonna go get on my fucking trampoline and fucking watch Cartoon Network, because that's what I do. I just be myself, you know? What's the point of fucking changing? I fucking hate parties. I hate all of that shit. You know, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do what I did, what I've been doing. I'm not losing shit. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna rap about the same shit. It's progression. Like, why the fuck would I rap about the same shit on my first album now? Like, I'm, that's the fucking dumbest shit. Like, I'm at South by Southwest. A year ago, I wasn't at South by Southwest. I was not at, I was not performing on MTV. I did not have a cover on a magazine. Why the fuck would I rap about the same shit on my first album when I was broke as fuck? It's progression, so no, in fucking three years from now, I'm not gonna rap about shit I did a year ago. I was an 18 year old boy. Fucking three years from now, I'll be what? 22, 20 fucking three? Like, I'm not gonna rap about the same shit. And I'm not afraid of losing that because it's called progression. It's called maturing, growing up. <laughs>